Hi everyone, I'm Alex McDermott and today I'm joined with Simon Coggan all the way from the UK to our headquarters in Barcelona. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the immersion cooling landscape but before that I'd like to get to know a bit more about yourself Simon. What was it that brought you to the world of immersion cooling? Um, well, I, I traditionally come from the world of uh, air cool data centre. Um, I've currently spent roughly about 26, 27 years in air cool data centres and I was looking for a, a new challenge, something new within the market, something innovative, um, looking to see where our landscape was going and what was driving that forward. And I came across immersion cooling, um, not with Submo though, believe it or not, um, with uh, the market in general started to do some research into it, found out how interesting it was. Uh, but lack of information at the time uh, in the market uh, and found myself reaching out to Danny Pope, the founder directly of Submar. I um, started having conversations. Two and a half years later, um, here I am uh, as the sales director of the UK and Ireland. And what does your role here as the sales director involve? So for, for, for me, um, the role coming in, it's just not a standard business development role um, that we've got here. We're, we're trying to shape a landscape within the UK and Ireland. Um, it's the ability to be able to go out and look for partners to help support grow uh, the immersion cooling market. From a Submar perspective, we now have a huge growth within the UK. Uh, we've grown astronomically from when I first started uh, within the, 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 the business. Um, I've now got a complete ecosystem within the UK so a customer can come and purchase an immersion tank, but also have suitable cables, PDUs and hardware, coolers, anything that's required for the overall project from design and build as well, and now have an ecosystem in the region. So it's creating a, a landscape for us moving forward. So you're interacting with a wide range of people in the data centre industry. What would you say are the unique challenges facing data centres today? I think within liquid cooling, uh, whether it's direct to chip or immersion, um, it's the unknown. Uh, we have traditionally been an air-cooled industry for many, many years. Uh, and I think it's um, the lack of unknown still within the market. Yes, we are a very successful company. We have a large number of deployments across the globe, particularly in the UK, but there's still uh, an education piece that needs to happen. So working with those partners, it gives us the ability to go out and educate the, the customers. The Colos, from their point of view, it's taking either a greenfield site, which is building from the ground up, or a brownfield site, which is a traditional data centre, and how we can convert that facility to accept liquid cooling, new pipe work, removing raised floor because of the weight loads of the products. So these are the things that I work very closely with the colo providers across the UK and Ireland at the moment to help mature or build their new facilities for liquid cooling. And how have you seen the market develop over recent years? Well, I think when I first came in, it was still a very new emerging market. Um, the US had a, a slightly larger footprint on immersion cooling than, than the UK or Europe did. Um, what I've seen um, from a UK and Ireland perspective is that when I joined, we were running at less than 100 kilowatts of, of, of load of our product within the UK. We're now just shy of 3.7 megawatts in the UK. So the growth has been astronomical, um, but moving forward, I'm starting to see now more of the colo providers showing more and more of an interest. Um, within our market, it's customer driven. Um, the colo will have to speak to their customers and find there's a demand before they're going to start investing, not just within infrastructure, but the conversion of a facility, building a greenfield site or converting a brownfield site. So what we've seen in particular this week within Submar is a number of tier one colo providers across the UK coming in to visit us with hardware or OEM providers and installation partners as well to provide, prevent, excuse me, to include that complete ecosystem. So the colos are now becoming a lot more educated and have that support moving forward. And how have you seen things evolve specifically in terms of immersion, readily available equipment? Um, so it, it's changed quite a lot um, since when I first started. When I first started within the market, we were advising customers on how to convert air-cooled servers to go into liquid. Um, we didn't have the appropriate cabling um, for liquid, as obviously we need polyurethane cables to prevent capillarity and also brittleness within the cables. 
Now we seem to have a number of OEM providers, hardware, silicon providers that we work with exclusively that are providing warranted based hardware to go directly into immersion that is designed and built for immersion cooling. Um, the same with cables, the same with PDUs. So the market and the providers within the market have evolved in the last 12 months dramatically with what we can supply to go in and around the product. And speaking of expanding the immersion catalogue, uh, I know that we have a number of fluid partners as well. Can you elaborate on the offerings and the benefits that these collaborations bring? Sure. So, I mean, from a Submer perspective, we offer our own smart cooling and have done from day one. Um, but as, the, uh, as we evolve as a business, uh, we're working with more and more partners, not just as we've really touched on the, uh, the equipment that goes in, but also the most important element of the product, which is the liquid, because it's the one thing that touches every single element inside the tanks, the CDUs, plus the hardware and the silicon. So we started partnering originally with Castrol BP. Uh, then we moved into a, a partnership with Shell as well. And what that does is it opens up a much larger ecosystem for us as well. Um, we are fluid agnostic. Customers can choose if they want to use our smart coolant or Submore or Ca uh, Shell or Castrol BP's smart coolant. What we've also done with Castrol BP in the last 12 months is build them a, a containerized modular data center at their UK head office in Pangbourne. It's a, it's a, it's a 200 kilowatt um, facility that we built for them. They're currently running the pods at 100 kilowatts between the two, but that is designed for them to be able to then test their liquid further with other manufacturers' hardware and speed up the generation of what they're doing in regards to liquid cooling EV chargers for cars as well. How can they rapidly charge a car, put the silicon into a liquid? So we're working in conjunction with them, Automotive, to further those relationships out. Mm. Exciting times for it's sure. Very much so. <laughs> um, and for you personally, what would you say is the most exciting aspect of immersion cooling right now? Um, I think it's really two part. One, it's the unknown. You know, we, we, it, the market is constantly evolving. Um, in traditional air cooled data centers, it's very much stagnant now. You know, we went from cold oil containment to hot oil containment with abiotic cooling, and that was quite a big thing. But within this market, I find even after two and a half years of working within it, every week or every month, something else is evolving. So there's the unknown. But also, like this week, having colo providers and partners come into head office, into the factory, it's watching them become educated with the product. So I love the educational part of it for people. And I love when people come in, see the product, touch the fluid and understand more about what we're doing rather than just what we see on the internet. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Simon. Uh, and if you'd like to experience these things Simon's just said or learn more about immersion cooling, we have a number of experts just like Simon on our team that would be happy to talk to you. Thank you so much. Submer. Data centers that make sense.